Hi guys, so I am going to start getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I know that sounds crazy, but it's something I've actually been wanting to do for a long time. And I've tried different ways, like starting to get up like 30 minutes earlier every once in a while. But I always went back to my old ways. And so um, I actually came across Katie on the flip side. Um, she's with Katie and Colin. I'll put their link below. She was actually telling how she did it and now I want to try some of her tricks to see if they work for me because I just I, I want to get up earlier and I feel like I'm getting more done, be more productive. And I wasn't even meaning to come across another uh, video or vlog about it but a person, another person I follow is, I think she's married now, Amy. Landino, she wrote this book and she just actually did a vlog about waking up at 5 o'clock too and why it's beneficial than staying up late at night. So it's like 11 o'clock, 11 or 4 I think right now and I wanted to go to sleep like an hour ago but James, I had to put James to sleep and he, since it's Easter today, I'm actually starting. Probably not the best idea to start on the day after Easter because well, I'm not going to be going to sleep. I wanted to be asleep by 10, but James had a lot of Easter candy, so yeah. So yeah, he didn't want to go to sleep. But anyway, I'm going to start it, and this is going to be like a do it for a week and see how it goes, and I'm going to update you throughout the day and throughout the week and let you know how I'm feeling and let you know like some tips of things of if you wanted to try waking up at 5 o'clock and see like what works for me and what doesn't and so here I go wish me luck okay day one 5 a.m. I'm up I'm tired but I'm okay Amy in her video she said when you wake up you hear the alarm go off you count down from 5 to 1 and you don't have anything else to do so you have to do something when you hit that one, so you had you get up. Go hit sneeze. I didn't hit sneeze. I love to hit sneeze, but I didn't. Here I go, day one. Let's do this. Okay, so it is 5.28 and um, I'm a little tired. Uh, we went to eat for my niece's birthday, an American Girl, and I'll put the link up there if you want to see that vlog. Uh, I'll tag it. But um, yeah, I'm a little tired, but for the most part I'm doing okay. I don't think I'll be able to do another day for or another night for five hours and feel this good so we'll see how it goes hopefully I'll get like seven or eight hours of sleep tonight I was wanting to to check in at one o'clock because that would have been midday but since I was with my niece I wasn't able to do that but um so I'll check in right before I go to bed tell you how how tired I am but right now I'm okay I'm doing well Okay, so it is almost one o'clock in the morning. This one did not want to go to sleep. And I've always told myself, No, I didn't want to go. No, you didn't want to go to sleep. Daddy's asleep. I always told myself I wasn't going to let my kids sleep in the bed with me. But I'm tired. Probably not gonna wake up at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, it's almost <laughs> one, and this guy's still going strong. I was, I'm not gonna make myself get up at five o'clock tomorrow. We'll start. I'll try again next time. Really, 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 really
Yes, I will try again next time. Um, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Let's see. If I go to sleep. I don't know. I'm so tired I can't even do math right now. Let's see. One, two, three. I guess I can. I'll try to get up at six. second win because I was tired around five-ish but then I got my second win and then I had to put him down and now I'm tired again because I've been trying to put him down for a very long time all right can you tell all my friends oh good night and we'll see you tomorrow oh I guess that's his way of saying good night good night Okay, so last night and this morning did not go as planned. James, as you saw earlier, um, did not want to go to sleep. So I brought him into the bedroom and like I've always said, I don't want to have my kids sleep in the bed because then it'll, it'll become a habit. But I just, I was falling asleep, but I was putting it down last night. I honestly can't remember what I told you in the last video, or last footage, so, because I was so tired. But anyway, so yeah, he ended up coming to bed with me around 1 o'clock this morning, and I was still going to try to wake up at like 7, and then when I woke up at 7, he was still, or, I don't think he had, I'm pretty sure that he has got, he went to sleep. But he was just sitting there staring at me, and I was like, okay, no, it, you're not going to just sleep six hours, because he usually sleeps like 12. So I was like, no, you're going back to sleep, I'll lay here with you. And then I fell back to sleep, and I didn't wake up until 9, and he was still asleep. I was like, I'm going to let him sleep a little bit longer, so I didn't move, because he was like right up on me. So he ended up waking up about 10.30 and it's like 11 now and so my day was just getting started not what I had in mind when I wanted to wake up at 5 o'clock every morning and so we'll try again tonight it's his daddy's night to put him down so hopefully he'll be able to get him down and I can be asleep no later than 10 let's see how it goes okay so night two it is a little bit after 11. David just took James to bed. He's putting, putting him down. It's a little bit later than I wanted to be going to bed. I wanted to be in bed at 10, so when I wake up at 5, I have 7 hours. But um, I'm still going to wake up at 5. Hopefully, David can get James to sleep within like 20 minutes because if not, then his back starts hurting and then I have to put him down so I cross my fingers that he can get him down and I can get at least six hours of sleep wish me luck and I'll let you know how it goes in the morning good morning it is day three and I'm up at five o'clock and James ended up in our bed again last night David try to put him down and he did the exact same thing he did with me he just didn't want to go to sleep and after a while he brought him in and I was like oh, I'm, I'm too I'm too tired to take him in and wrestle with him so we ended up in our bed again and this morning I was really worried when my alarm went off at five yes hi Thor um, I was really worried when my alarm went off at five that it was gonna wake him up and so when my alarms are going off, I grab my phone really, really quick, and he kind of wrestled around. So, um, but he didn't fully wake up, and so I laid there for a few minutes to make sure he was completely out again. And then I was doing some kind of like ninja moves to get out of the bed, because <laughs> I didn't want to disturb him at all. So yes, I am up at five, and I'm hoping that James doesn't wake up with David at 7.30. I have a feeling that that will happen because David likes to set his alarm like 
three different times before he gets up. So, he likes to snooze. That was me. I used to, I love, used to love to snooze. And today would have been a perfect day to sleep in because, hi Thor, because it's supposed to rain and thunderstorm all day. I would love to take a nap. I'm going to try not to. morning snack. I just got some strawberries and some blueberries and then I have some water. Another one of my favorite snacks for the morning is apples with peanut butter and then sprinkle some cinnamon over the top of those. Oh my gosh those are so good. I like to have a snack and some water in the morning and then later on during the morning I will have a bigger breakfast with my coffee. So I know I think even it was either Amy or Katie, one of them was saying that it's good to have water in the morning instead of coffee. Just get your body going, waking up, and I agree. It, I, I seem to do better that way too. Okay, so I will get back with you about midday and let you know how things are going. Okay, guys, it's midday and I'm in exactly the same place that you saw me when I left. Been working on my vlog all day, and well, okay. I will admit to you that after I like to do Bible study when I uh, first thing in the morning, and after that, I may have taken a 30 minute nap afterwards, and it might have taken me a little bit longer <laughs> to get up and get going after that. Oh, okay. Hi, James. So, um, but yeah, I feel better at my, after my nap, and so I'm, I'm getting, what are you talking about? You didn't wake up until 10, after 10.30. What? <laughs> I know. So, um, yeah, I haven't gotten ready or anything today, but it's just because I'm just working on my channel. Yeah. And so. Cookie Cookie Monster. You got Cookie Monster on your clothes and on your little CD. Anyway, so I am Cookie feeling a little. I'm feeling Cookie a little bit. I'm feeling a little bit better now since I took my nap, and I'm going to get a lot of work done on my YouTube channel, and then I'm going to clean some house. And I will like to do that. And then I will check back with, back in with you tonight. Okay, so it's night three, and I actually got James to go to sleep in his own bed. And it's 10.30, so it's about 30 minutes later than I originally wanted to go to sleep. But it's better than it has been for the past few days. And um. I'm a little tired, but not like really, really tired, so that's good, I guess, but I'm willing to go to sleep, so I don't know. Oh, well, I usually, usually don't have problems going to sleep, but we'll hope that tonight goes well. Alright, see y'all in the morning. Good morning, it is day four. Yes, day four, and I'm not going to lie. It was really hard to wake up today at 5 o'clock this morning. Granted, I did only get six hours of sleep. Who knew that one hour of sleep could really change how you feel? Okay, so I have my cinnamon apples and some water. And I'm going to do my Bible study. And I'm going to check back in with you in a little bit. Okay, so for everybody who is known to, yes, I am wearing the same, oh, this is not a good angle, I'm sorry, guys. I am wearing the same shirt that I have been for the past couple of days, but I, I'm like, if I'm just wearing the shirt, if 
So I'm just wearing the shirt for around the house and to sleep in. Why put it in the laundry and just add it to the laundry? You know? But don't worry, I am going to clean it today, wash it today, put it in the laundry today. I am taking James for a walk. Usually I'd, I would like to do this in the morning after I do my Bible study. One is because it's cooler then. In Texas, it gets hot pretty quickly. And two, I like to, I'm not sure how much you're able to see with me. Hope they're not just like this black outline. But anyway, I like to walk by myself just so I can clear my mind. It's relaxing. Okay, so I'm about to get real with y'all. I'm gonna open up to you. And I feel like I'm failing maybe at this waking up at 5 a.m. challenge. I mean, I'm doing pretty good waking up at 5 a.m. But I don't feel like I'm doing everything that I wanted it to do. Like, yes, I am waking up earlier, but I'm not getting everything done I want to get done. Like, I'm a big procrastinator, and... <laughs> Like little things like TV or my phone can really get me off track. I'm only getting six hours of sleep. Ooh. Hi, puppy. Uh, it's a puppy dog. And I'm only getting six hours of sleep. It's probably not helping this situation because I'm, I wanna like do my bubble study and then automatically go and take my walks. Like, no later than like 7.38. And I'm so tired that I have to take a nap. So I'm so tired. I just wanna take a nap. And also, ah, like off-roading here. I know there's no, no such thing as like a perfect life or a perfect mom, but I strive to be the best I can be, and I, I definitely feel like I'm failing. Um, I've had this conversation with David a few times, and he says I'm not, and um, he says I'm a great mom and I'm a great wife, and I believe that, but I'm not where I want to be. And I have a few other challenges in mind that's going to help me get, I feel like, get me there. This is kind of a starting point challenge for me. Um, walking for one. I'm just kind of adding this in. Walking. It's going to help me get healthier, I think. I mean, I eat pretty healthy for the most part. But every once in a while, I break it. Don't eat healthy, and that's why I'm the weight I don't want to be at. Be like a baby crocker. Why? No, there's no such thing as like the Midford Wise, but I you know that TV or that movie. But I mean, that's kind of what I, my goal is. That's what I shoot for. I want to be that 50s mom and wife. I know a lot of women are like, oh, don't say that feminist out there. I'm definitely not a feminist. I'm like the opposite. I'm very conservative. But everybody's different and it was, that's what makes the world go around. But I'm definitely nowhere near perfect. I mean, I know to be like a 50s wife, you have to be like submissive to your husband. And I have a hard time with that. <laughs> yeah, I love him and I being a Christian, you're supposed to, a man's supposed to be the head of the household. Ooh, that's muddy. And I believe that. 
I mean, I believe the husband should come to his wife and ask her for her opinion on things. But ultimately, they have the ultimate decision, or they get to say what the ultimate decision is. I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. I haven't worked out in a long time. I have a hard time. I'm pretty stubborn. Even David will tell you that. So I need to work on that. But anyway, that's just kind of where I am. Working on being the best I can be. I guess I'm going to end this right now. I'm going to finish my walk. See y'all tonight. Let's cross our fingers and pray that I can actually get seven hours of sleep tonight. That would help my plan and my calendar a whole lot more. If y'all have any suggestions, let me know. I'm kind of like halfway through. Maybe a little over halfway through my this 5 a.m. challenge. I'm going to do my best to keep it going after this week. That's my ultimate goal. So, stay on this journey with me and you can find out how I'm doing. And again, like, share y'all's personal, you know, experiences. That'd be great. Okay, see y'all tonight. Okay, hi guys. Sorry I look horrible. Um, and yes, I did change my shirt. I was wearing a red sock shirt, but now I'm supporting the Texas Rangers. Um, and guys, I did it again. It's like 11.15 and I'm not asleep yet. I just got James down and I'm tired and I know I'm going to be tired in the morning. But I think that's just how it's going to be. <laughs> Um, I think I'm going delirious. <laughs> David's still awake. Um, so I'll most likely, hopefully tomorrow's not a repeat of what today was, but it looks like it's, that's what it's going to be because I'm actually, I feel like I'm more tired now than I was last night. So maybe I'll just sleep really hard. Yeah. Okay, see you in the morning. Hi guys, it is the sixth night. Sorry I didn't vlog anything this morning because I was asleep. I actually slept for like 12 hours. I was gonna wake up around like 8, but I turned it off and I was like, no, I'm too tired and I am going to sleep. And I didn't wake up till like, uh, I wanna say about 12.30, but I didn't get up till like almost 1. So yeah, that's why I didn't vlog this morning. And I didn't do like a midday either because I went to my niece's birthday. And earlier this week, uh, we went to the American Girl restaurant for her birthday. And I will tag that if I remember. And I will, if we, if I didn't post that one yet. But look out for that video because it's really fun and cute. I'm going to try to wake up early tomorrow. We will see. It's almost 10 now, so I'm probably gonna get my full six or seven hours of sleep but I should have I'm tired and you think I have more energy now but I'm actually kind of tired still tired so this whole challenge of me waking up at five not doing so well on it but hopefully hopefully I have a couple more days hopefully we'll get it going and yeah I will see y'all in the morning and let y'all know how to not get Hi guys, today is the 7th day mommy, 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 I didn't go to sleep probably, well, I know I didn't go to sleep by like 10, which I should do, so I could have, yes. so I could have my seven hours of sleep, 
Oh, um, mommy, 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 mommy,